It's that gift buying and gift giving time of year again with Black Friday, Cyber Monday and the holiday season fast approaching. So what do you do if you're looking for a gift for a techie person in your life? Or if you're a tech person, what things are out there right now that you might want to drop hints about as a gift for you? Well, I thought I'd make a short list of 10 potential gifts that have caught my eye recently and things that perhaps I'd like to receive. And maybe that'll give you some clue as to some great gifts for this holiday season. Some of them I already own and I've used them and I love to continue to use them in my daily life. I'll let you know about those in the video. And I've organized them with five options coming in at around $100 and another five in the $100 to $300 bracket. And just to note that all prices are given in US dollars and were correct at the time of making this video. I've even put links in the description to buy the items through my affiliate links where available. That'll really help my channel too. Thank you if you use those. Let's start with the $100 and under bracket because there are some real goodies in here. Let's kick off with the Apple HomePod Mini. Now it took a while for Apple to get into this mini speaker slash personal assistant space, but pretty much like they always do, they wait and then they nail it. Apple's Siri powered smart speaker is small, but mighty enough to win a Watt Hi-Fi award this 2021. The HomePod mini really is small. At just 8.4 centimeters tall and 9.8 centimeters wide, it's roughly half the size of the similarly priced and similarly spherical Amazon Echo. In fact, it's even smaller than the new Echo Dot. When it was first released, the mini came in simple white or black finishes wrapped in a seamless fabric mesh that was apparently chosen as much for its acoustic properties as for its coolness. And now it comes in multiple color variations too. As far as speaker performance goes, inside the HomePod Mini's spherical mesh covered frame is a single Apple designed full range driver that fires sound downwards and out of the 360 degree waveguide around the bottom of the speaker. Siri's fast improved performance in recent times really powers the device to another level. There are four microphones built into the chassis, three that specifically listen out for the Hey Siri command, and a fourth that uses echo location to ensure you can be heard over background noise or loud music. Also impressive is the way Siri always seems to know which device is being addressed, sensing whether an instruction is to the HomePod mini on the other side of the room even when your iPhone is lying much closer and that outperforms similar type speakers from other manufacturers. Now if you're a little wary about how data is managed using these personal assistant devices I probably feel more comfortable with a device from Apple than other manufacturers. None is perfect and you may have a different view but for me Apple is probably the best of the lot from a privacy point of view. I don't have an Apple HomePod mini yet but as soon as my UE mobile boom kicks the bucket this is on my list to buy. Apparently it sounds just fantastic way better than you would expect. And it also now interfaces a bit better with music apps outside the Apple ecosystem, better than it used to anyway. Available now, though it might be in short supply, the Apple HomePod mini is priced at $99. If you or the person you're buying for has an iPhone and they're into gaming at all, then the Backbone One is a great controller that transforms your iPhone into a much more capable and fun gaming device. And as this video from Backbone you're watching in the background makes clear, it's pretty much suitable for anyone. With a controller fully extended, it can fit any iPhone running iOS 13 or later, starting with the iPhone 6S, and including the new iPhone 13 lineup. All the reviews comment on how it's a really elegant and comfortable design, a really clever integration of hardware and software. It has pass-through lightning port charging and also support for lightning port headphones too, as well as a 3.5 millimeter audio jack if you prefer to hook up your headphones that way. As for power consumption, Backbone says the one itself demands less power from your iPhone than many wired lightning earbuds do. All this for $100 with no additional subscription costs, at least not when I made this video. The hardware alone might make it worth the purchase, but the software is really what makes it unique. The One doesn't require its companion app to work with any iOS game that supports a controller, but using that app turns your iPhone into a game console kind of. When you open up the Backbone app, you'll find all of your installed games clearly laid out. 
The app also shows new games available for download in the App Store that supports controllers. There are all kinds of other features like the ability to snap a screenshot in game or even record a video clip. After a video clip is saved, you can then trim and share the clip in the Backbone app as well as via iMessage or any social media apps you use. And you can also create parties and voice chat with friends in the app and you don't even have to be playing a game or the same game to do that with your friends. The Backbone One is more than just a controller. It's more of a platform of its own rather than just a phone strapped to a bit of plastic. I don't have one yet. Hint, hint. Oh, and the Backbone One is coming for Android, but it's not ready yet. Check out Backbone's website for more details about that. If you're a bit of a tinkerer with electronics, but you find it all a bit intimidating and you don't want to go near a soldering iron, or if you're trying to buy a gift for someone like that, like me, then the Raspberry Pi 400 might be the thing you're looking for. The Raspberry Pi is a stripped down basic computer in a single computer board form, which you can then mod up with housing and connect to keyboards, memory storage, monitors, and all the things you need. But if you remember the ZX Spectrum or the Acorn Electron, or even the Commodore 64, and you just want something that works out of the box, consider the Raspberry Pi 400. Because just like those vintage computers, it's a keyboard you can connect to a TV and start coding or playing games or well, whatever you want to do with a computer. It has fewer connectors than a straight Raspberry Pi 4, but its job is to be convenient rather than to connect to everything. But if you're in the market for a low cost computer with a bit of coding or some web browsing thrown in or even using a basic productivity suite, then the Raspberry Pi 400 will be the machine for you. It's quick to get going, easy to use, and makes a perfectly credible Linux desktop PC, all at an extremely affordable price of just $100. Next up is Tiny, probably a little bit on the expensive side for what it is, but it just oozes quality and little touches that matter a lot. So it's probably worth it. If you or your gift target could use a small travel friendly keyboard for their devices, then look no further. The Logitech MX Mini Keys pretty much beats the competition hands down with a slick typing experience, flexible multi-device pairing, software customization and backlit keys. It's a small top of the line build as you'd expect from Logitech with a focus on comfort and a quality experience. And the battery can last a surprisingly long time. The backlit keys are definitely a primo feature, but if you turn them off, you can extend out that battery life from a week and a half to five months, according to Logitech. Now that's pretty amazing. For the more business or productivity oriented gift, this is a pretty cool one and reasonably priced at $100. If you're like me and you have a ton of gear that you might take out with you, you'll want to be keeping track of your stuff. Oh yeah, and your keys too. So here's a thought. What about some Apple tags to help you do that? An AirTag can help you keep track of your keys, wallet, luggage, backpack, and more, all on your Apple device. Just say, hey Siri, find my gym bag, and it'll ping a sound to help you locate it. With select iPhone models, precision finding can lead you right to your nearby AirTag. If it's further away, hundreds of millions of Apple devices, potentially in the Find My network, can help track it down. Pretty smart. And it's all done anonymously and encrypted for privacy. And it has long lasting, cheap, and user replaceable batteries in them too. You could buy one for around $29 for a really inexpensive but potentially very useful gift or splash out for the four pack for $100 for the person who really does have a lot of stuff to keep track of. That's five $100 and under gift ideas. Let's move on to the remaining five in the $100 to $300 segment, starting with the Sony Bluetooth turntable. To give it its proper name, it's called the PSLX310BT in the catchy way that Sony tends to do. Why on earth do they do that? Anyway, rubbish name, but apparently very slick and cool record player, getting a five star rating in What Hi-Fi magazine. Now buying a turntable can be complicated, thinking about the right cartridge, alignment, tracking, and all kinds of other things to set it up just right. But what if all you had to do was plug the record player in and hook it up to your Bluetooth headphones? And what if you could do all that in just five minutes? Because that's what this Sony deck can do. Sure, a purist might say you can do better, 
but you'd be hard pushed to buy something so entertaining. Has Bluetooth built in and can connect with up to eight devices within a range of 15 meters, is easy to use and sounds great for just $299. So forget the fuss, just get one of these. And while you're at it, can I have one too, please? Okay, next is a fitness tracking device with a difference. Now you could go budget here and do perfectly well with a device like the Xiaomi MyBand Fitness Tracker, number six. But that can do a great job for you for well under $100. But if you want to get a step higher and you don't mind a subscription option, here's a way of getting some of the latest technology without having to shell out the kind of cash that you need for an Apple Watch Series 7. Let me tell you about Whoop 4.0. It's a minimalist wearable that's designed to be worn 24 seven, capable of biometric tracking of skin temperature, blood oxygen, plus much more. Whoop themselves are claiming that it has best in class validated with third party testing. The Whoop has an app with your smartphone and you can track your biometrics and it comes with an exercise and sleep coach built in. The hardware comes as part of the subscription and that hardware gets upgraded to the latest iteration as part of the package. It's an interesting variation on upgrading your Apple Watch for significantly less cost each year. The Whoop 4.0 with an entry level price point of $44 per month. That gets you a device plus that month's subscription, but it's more likely you'll want a longer subscription if it's a gift. And they have the options from 6 to 18 months with discounts getting bigger the longer you sign up for. Next, we're back to gaming again, but this time with a difference. We're gonna go retro. Think support for Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance cartridges out of the box. The long awaited analog pocket handheld has been delayed by COVID things, but it's now due to ship out from December 13th with anticipated delivery dates between December 14th and December 30th, 2021. The analog pocket looks to be a fantastic retro gaming experience with a 3.5 inch LCD display that operates at a resolution of 1600 by 1440. The display is even made from Gorilla Glass. In addition to supporting the range of Game Boy titles, it also works with adapters to support Game Gear, Neo Geo Pocket Color, and Atari Lynx cartridges too. Importantly, it's not an emulator. Some fancy hardware inside means it supports a native gaming experience, meaning you'll get them as they were in originally intended. On top of this, the console has a built-in digital audio workstation called NanoLoop that acts as both synthesizer and sequencer for music creation. Coming in at 200 bucks, the analog pocket also supports accessories like the analog dock, which provides 1080p output to a connected TV, as well as support, oh, that light just blew, <laughs> for connecting up to four 8-bit DO controllers for local multiplayer via wired or wireless connections. The console itself offers up to 10 hours of gameplay via its internal batteries and USB-C charging. Now I have one of these Insta360 GoTo's. Actually, I have two of them. It's that good. The Insta360 Go 2 is a fantastic action camera powered by the Insta360 app and software backing that really does put it head and shoulders above the competition. And it comes in at quite a bit cheaper too for $299 for a nice package, including the tiny but incredibly capable camera, a controller case, a pendant, and pivot mount too. I have a ton of content about the GoTo on my channel and you'll find some of those in the description for this video. I'll just say that in my opinion, it's an ideal all round action camera to buy this holiday season, even if your target or you are traditionally GoPro people. Seriously, the AI capabilities of the software and what it will help you to shoot is incredible. It's a fantastic little camera, ideal for all weathers, all occasions, and it's a robust little beast too. Just check out a little bit here.
Here's number 10 in my list, and it's an incredibly important device in our home. It's an espresso coffee maker that will not only be kind to your wallet, it'll be a treat for your taste buds, and not take up all of your bench space either. It's really hard to find a good coffee machine that isn't either super expensive and be super big. So if you're into espresso coffee, this machine really does hit the sweet spot. The DeLonghi Dedica EC690M is a great coffee machine. It's so easy to use. The machine does most of the work for you with an automatic flow stop feature dispensing just the right amount of espresso while maintaining the optimum brewing temperature. It also has a semi-automatic frother that mixes steam and milk to create a rich, creamy, velvety froth for evenly textured drinks, just the way you like them. Me too. Just note that it takes straight espresso coffee, not capsules, but you can use pre-made small coffee bags. At just six inches wide, the narrow design takes up half the space of a typical manual espresso machine. Sure, a coffee snob might think they can do better, but if you just want great espresso coffee with decent quality steamed milk, and you don't want to break the bank, I haven't seen better than this at this price point. You can get this from between $265 and $299 at the time I made this video. That's my top 10 ideas for maybe someone like me here at the end of 2021. Hope you found it useful. Here's more from me I think you'll like. I'm Saab Johal. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell for more from me. Thanks for watching and later.